Welcome to part two of my KISS collection. Um, we're going to go back a little bit from last time to show you some things a little bit more in detail. Some bonus goods. Okay, here is the comic book. And I thought I would just flip through some of the pages so you could get a better look at what's inside. shots there. Outer space. And uh, best of all, the poster that came in the magazine. And this is Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. And we'll just look at a few of the pictures inside of here also. I don't think Gene Simmons had any other lines other than like, Ack, or something like that. There he is, doing his act thing. Okay, KISS really like to put extras inside their albums. Booklets and posters and merchandise cards. And in this case, we have the booklet. It's gotten folded, but it's still there. And on to Kiss Alive 2, which also had some extras in there. Another book. And again, that got folded when it was stored away. But the fact that it still exists and I think is pretty decent adds to the value, of course. And these were uh, tattoos that came in Kiss Alive 2. Double Platinum also has some special contents. Get the album open here. Just 
just a little paper platinum album, I guess. See, it was presented to me. <laughs> Ah, the gold Australian 24 karat gold coin. I was really thrilled when I got this thing. It's still very shiny. I still keep it in the plastic. And then we have some dollies. Paul. I believe I bought these at KB Toys. Ten bucks a piece. There's Jean. He's a little, he's missing a chain. Some of his makes up coming off his nose there. And to this day, I regret that I never got Peter Chris. I think by the time I had saved up enough money to get the fourth doll, I couldn't get it any, I couldn't find it anywhere. So if anybody's got a nice Peter Chris doll out there, it's a, this is an action figure. <clears throat> These are about, I don't know, seven inches tall, maybe? Seven or eight inches tall? ginormous hands. There he is on his little stand with his guitar. There's a ace. Same same height as the uh, other one, same, you know, set from the same set. And then this little Gene Simmons, he's like, I don't know, he might be <clears throat> four inches tall. These are uh, puffy stickers. All of them, all still intact. It's not their original packaging, but they're all still there. And of course, it seems I'm always missing one. None of these, though. I've got all of these. So there's Ace, 1979. Can't remember what these are called. And a completely unopened, never used uh, Pez dispenser. And this is the back the Pez dispensers. This is perfume. It's not terrible smelling, but I'm not really much of a perfume wearer, so as you can see, there's a whole lot left. And of course, the Detroit Rock City movie. A bunch of dudes trying to get to the Kiss concert. And this is a movie starring Gene Simmons and Ozzy. This is not the greatest movie in the world, but you know. Hey, this is a obviously a tour album. A couple of tour albums. And these are 10th anniversary tour uh, t-shirts we bought at the concert. It's the back. And here's the last one I ever went to, 84. There's the back of that one. It's pretty worn. I wore these shirts a lot. And I don't know what the stain is all over this thing. This is Tyvek. I know I spilled root beer on the front, but I don't know what happened to the rest of all. It's all stained up the rest of the way. My brass belt buckle. I wore this constantly. This is just a sleeveless t-shirt I had. It wasn't from a concert or anything. Just thought it was cool. Uh, from the Animal Eyes, it's a bandana. 
And that is about going to wrap it up for my Kiss Collection Part 2. There will be one more part, and it'll be more personal things. Uh, pictures from concerts, me dressed up in Kiss garb, and that'll be the end of it. Thank you for watching.